would think the two sodas would fight for the love of french fries and thus be able to have a perfect marriage. Welcome to Macombo Mayhem, brought to you by Food Spiracy, the only channel that makes food fights fun. In this corner, standing at 480 calories, 100 grams combined with 200 calories, and 51 grams of carbs packed in a medium cup of sweet lemony goodness, so spicy it can make your nose burn, so crisp it can make your tongue crunch, it's McDonald's fries and Sprite! And in this corner at an equal 480 calories per 100 grams, now tag teamed with 210 calories and 56 grams of carbs, all tucked into a medium cup of syrupy cola sweetness. So refreshing you don't want to miss it on a hot day. So satisfying you can't help but shake every drop out of the cup. It's McDonald's fries and coke. You do know that both drinks are owned by the same company, right? And are both full of crazy amounts of sugar? Ugh, why do you have to take the fun out of everything? Still, the stage has been set, the match is about to begin, and we'll finally find out once and for all who is the best Macombo. When it comes to the soda spilling out of McDonald's fountain, the internet has a lot to say about it. And by a lot, we mean full-blown conspiracies, tall orders, and just outright wild statements. Like that McDonald's McDonald's fountain sprite is so hot it can be used to fry fish. Sounds crazy, right? Well, food spirators, we've heard it all. The Sprite tastes stronger, spicy, crispy. It's even been called electric like Zeus took his thunderbolt and zapped every single cup. As for the McDonald's Fountain Coke, it's been described as crisp, tangy, syrupy, and perfectly sugary like sugar scones. The food spiracies circulating the internet and why the drinks are like that range from the Sprite syrup being packaged differently due to a deal McDonald's and Coca-Cola signed a long time ago, to the carbonation levels in the drink being higher so all those added bubbles make the flavor burst on your tongue and burn your nose. We've even heard that the drinks are made extra sweet because McDonald's doesn't want your tongue drying up from all the salt in their fries and get this, that there's no difference between the fountain soda and the can or bottled ones. It's just that McDonald's serves customers the drinks with a bigger straw so they get more flavor in one sip. Yeah, nothing to see here folks, just making a straw a diameter bigger so you folks think our drinks are sweeter. We'll circle back to that, but the general consensus though is soda from the McDonald's fountain just hits different. So let's clear out all the madness, look at the cold, sugary facts of why that is, and most importantly, put our aliens conspiracy cream right here. First of all, let's look at how McDonald's Coca-Cola and Sprite compare to those sold at other restaurants. And we know what you're thinking, food spirators. Uh, isn't it the same thing? Well, the truth is sweeter than fiction. For starters, a medium 20 one fluid ounce cup of McDonald's Coca-Cola soda dispenser contains 210 total calories with 55 milligrams of sodium and 56 grams in sugars. Compare that to Panera's which contains 252 calories, 79.8 milligrams in sodium and 68.3 grams in sugars. The same Coca-Cola in Burger King contains 350 calories with 85 milligrams in sodium and 96 grams in sugars. Wendy's Coca-Cola sits at a whopping 317 calories with 90 milligrams of sodium and 100 grams in sugars, while Chick-fil-A's contains 140 calories, 50 milligrams of sodium, and 40 grams sugars. As for the Sprite, McDonald's contains 210 calories with 90 milligrams of sodium and 51 grams of sugar. The same drink from Panera comes with 241.5 calories, 115 milligrams of sodium, and 67 grams in sugars. From Burger King, we're looking at 330 calories, 90 milligrams sodium and 88 grams in sugars. Wendy's has its values at a heart-stopping 350 calories, 90 milligrams of sodium, and 91 grams in sugars. And Chick-fil-A sits at 190 calories, 45 milligrams of sodium, and 43 grams in total sugars. Have you noticed a pattern here? The McDonald's drinks typically have less sugar than their competitors with the highest coming from Wendy's. Why, Wendy's? Why? On its face, this shouldn't make any sense since the McDonald's drinks are supposed to be better than the rest, uh, sweeter. But things start to make a whole lot more sense when you find out the way Coca-Cola and Sprite are handled in McDonald's as opposed to every other restaurant. 
For instance, the Coca-Cola syrup is usually delivered to McDonald's in stainless steel vats to preserve its purity. Sometimes it's pumped via hose from the 75-gallon tank into the restaurant's tank. Both hose and tanks are sanitized between every fill, so you don't have to worry about drinking any foreign entities with your Coke. You could say this special treatment is a result of a long-term partnership that's been in place between the two companies since way back when everything and everyone lived in black and white. 1955. Coca-Cola even has a McDonald's division in their company, so you know these guys are serious about each other. So, does this make the Coca-Cola taste better? You could say that, but it doesn't account for the Sprite. That comes shaped in plastic bags with nozzles and boxes like the other drinks. So why does it still taste so good? Well, you could say it's due to the cleanliness of the water mixed with the syrup that gives you your magical McD's soda. While most restaurants and gas stations have just one filter on their water pump or have the fountain hooked directly to the water supply, McDonald's has not one, not two, but four different reverse osmosis double filtration systems that filter out any dirt, debris, and bacteria in the water used for the soda fountain, leaving you with crisp, clean water for your crisp, clean soda. McDonald's also takes the extra step of pre-chilling both the syrup and the water instead of just relying on the machine to do all the work for them. So not only do you get crisp soda in your cup, you also get it perfectly cold and perfectly balanced. McDonald's really wasn't playing when it came to making their sodas as refreshing as humanly and maybe even alienly possible just to keep you buying. It's actually pretty easy to notice the difference between crisp and clean McDonald's soda and the one that comes from uh, not so savory conditions. You can definitely taste it when the restaurant you're in doesn't clean the soda lines and drink dispensing nozzles properly and there's mold, dirt and other gunk in there. The drinks come out tasting dirty and stale like muddy water was used to make it. You can definitely tell when the restaurant you're in and doesn't clean their ice dispensers because as much as McDonald's goes all out to add a state-of-the-art filtration system to their soda dispenser, the same cannot be said for their ice dispensers. Imagine you get a perfect cup of crisp, spicy Sprite and you add a few shots of frozen dirt water to it by adding ice. Yuck. Consider skipping the ice entirely. Sure, McDonald's adjusts their syrup to water ratio to account for having your drink watered down by ice cubes, but by by skipping the ice entirely, you still get a cold drink, sweeter soda, and no risk of drinking mud. It's a win-win-win! And with all the extra steps McDonald's takes to make their Coca-Cola and Sprite better than everyone else's, it will be awful if it tasted exactly the same and it doesn't. Seriously guys, it doesn't. Have you been watching the video? You'll find that Sprite and Coca-Cola in a glass bottle taste a bit more flavorful and fizzier than their plastic bottle counterparts that somehow taste flatter in comparison. And although you can get the iconic Sprite burn from a glass bottle, Bottle Sprite, it doesn't have the exact same crispness and punch that McDonald's Sprite does. The canned sodas are also highly carbonated, so you still get that burn and a lot of flavor on your tongue. Still, it doesn't quite taste like McDonald's, and it definitely doesn't taste the same when you add the fries to the equation. When it comes to the most efficient McDonald's fries order, your best and most efficient bet is the small McDonald's shoestring fries if you're trying to save a buck, or the large if you have a bit more to spend. Never go for the medium. It's just there to trick your brain into thinking large is a better option, meaning the fact that it doesn't look much smaller than large isn't a way to say, hey, this is more cost efficient. It's a way to say, hey, are you sure you really want to buy this? If you throw in an extra dollar, you'll get more and not this sorry excuse for fries. Whatever your choice, though, you'll find that the McDonald's fries plus Sprite or Coca-Cola from a glass bottle or a can tastes vastly different from the fries from McDonald's themselves. Rumor has it that McDonald's based food scientists to do research on how the soda drinks perfectly combine with their food like their Rick cooking up aliens in the lab. But that's just a rumor and we can't confirm or deny it. But it wouldn't be surprising if they did. After all, McDonald's is famously known for high 
hiring scientists to test out the flavor profiles of their menu and find out what keeps customers hooked like fish on a line. So would the idea that they're reeling in customers with the perfect soda fries combination so far cast it? Okay, we try to keep up with the fishing puns, but we're food spreaders, not fishermen. So the point is, McDonald's fries are an entire species of fries on their own. Back when the four nations lived together in harmony in the 1980s, McDonald's fried their French fries, not in Sprite, get that one out of your head, but in beef tallow, giving it a thicker, savory taste. But then as expected, the public got concerned about how insanely unhealthy the fries were and they switched the beef tallow out with canola oil. Of course, this didn't go over well because the fries no longer matched the soda in perfect harmony. So McDonald's added natural beef flavorings to the oil to mimic the old taste. Meaning the taste of McDonald's fries and the taste of their soda go hand in hand like the weird twins from The Shining. But which Macombo actually tastes best? The fries and Coca-Cola or the fries and Sprite? Before we answer that, hit that like button for a blessed extra fry in the bag of your next McDonald's order. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another delicious update. Well, we did suggest you buy a large bag of fries, so looking at the values on that, we've got 480 calories, 23 grams in total fat, 65 grams in total carbs, 7 grams of protein, and 400 milligrams of sodium, enough to give you a friendly McDonald's approved heart attack. Combined with the values from our medium Coca-Cola, we're looking at 690 calories, 121 grams in carbs, and 455 milligrams of sodium. And that's just for one serving. As for the Sprite and Fries Macombo, we're looking at a sweet 690 calories with 116 grams in carbs and 490 grams in sodium. With values like that, especially that jaw-dropping sodium content, we're looking at high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke all served up in a cute McDonald's fry bag with a refreshing cup of soda. We're also looking at high calcium loss and things get especially bad when the body starts pulling calcium from your bones to make up for the deficiency. The human body requires about 500 milligrams of sodium daily to do its job of maintaining a balance of body fluids and keeping muscles and nerves running smoothly without it being unhealthy. And McDonald's has that much sodium and just one serving right under the 500 milligram mark. Hmm. So when all is said and done, what is the best size combo order? What Macombo will be given the champion's belt and crown the king of all? Well, food spirators, the answer lies not in the nutritional value. Because, let's face it, you weren't exactly gunning for health when you chose to eat McDonald's in the first place, but in the taste and the satisfaction the combination brings. In which case... Drum roll, please. The large McDonald's fries and medium Sprite combination takes the belt. One, two, three, and it's a tap out for McDonald's fries and Coca-Cola. Why, you might ask, well, remember what we said, taste and satisfaction? There's just something about that Sprite burn and the crispy lemony flavor of the drink combined with the saltiness of the fries that Coca-Cola's syrupy sweetness can't beat. To top it all off, a small cup of Sprite to reduce sodium intake would be pointless and then you'll finish your drink long before you finish the large bag of fries. Except you take really small sips. Finishing your drink then, having to scarf down Lot's wife pillar of salt tasting fries is just... no. No satisfaction would come from that and you'll only be left with a dry tongue and a heavy heart. And it seems like the internet agrees that McDonald's Pride and Fries are the ultimate combo with videos on the topic reaching millions if not billions of views. The combination has been so extensively memed on and the power of their Sprite is so well known that even McDonald's has been forced to acknowledge its popularity. McDonald's Coca-Cola hasn't even brushed the surface of the nearly legendary fame the Sprite has received. So we're naming the medium McDonald's Sprite and large bag of fries as our champ. But if you think differently, let us know in the comments below.